Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to talk about back flush. How to do back flush in Barista Pro. Now back flush is very similar to the flush cycle or clean cycle or clean me cycle in the old Barista Express. It is similar but back flush is something that you do every time. If you're making coffee every day, do back flush daily after making espresso. Why is it important? Remember, after making espresso, your group head is going to be having those coffee grinds, those residual. Now, because of the three-way solenoid, there is a backward pressure. So the grinds, uh, some of the grinds may be stuck in the group head shower screen. It will be between the group head and the shower screen. Now, this backward pressure is in order to make the puck dry. So when you take out the potter filter, you see a dry puck and it's easy to discard it. Now, because of this backward or inward pressure, there will be some grinds definitely going to get stuck between the shower screen and the group head. So how do we clean that? That's why it is important to back flush it daily after every use of making espresso cup. So today we're going to see how to do it. It's very simple and I'll show you in detail. So let's have a closer look at the shower screen. Now my shower screen looks fairly clean. It looks really clean. I'm surprised. But I bet there is some grinds between the shower screen and the group head. That's what we are going to address. Now let's see how to do that. Now, if the coffee grinds get stuck between the shower screen and the group head, that's going to affect every time you make a cup of espresso, it's going to affect the taste of the espresso. That's why it is important that you back flush every time you make coffee. Now, I'm going to run some empty shot and see in a clear cup and let's look at it. So as you have seen, I got a very clean shower screen so i'm assuming that it's it's everything clean but i'm going to run an empty shot and look at the water there we go that's okay now have a look at this water and this is why you see those black particles every time you make a cup of espresso these old particles are going to affect the taste i'm going to discard this and then do it again so it's a clean cup and let's run it again Have a look. I still see a few particles. Let me discard this. Now, many do this method by just running an empty shot and assume that it's clean. For the sake of video, let's do it again. Now, this time I should get clear water. Hoping. Okay, it's almost clear. I see only one, one or two, or maybe three small grinds. Okay, great. So after running these shots, now my machine is really clean. That's what many think. But we are going to test and see whether it is really clean or not by doing a back flush. So I'm going to show you how to do the back flush. And back flush, basically what it does is, it's going to reverse the flow of the espresso or the flow of the water uh, to the backward direction. Now, as you know, when you press this button, uh, the water will be pushed from the boiler by the pump into the group head and you get water coming out here. Now, how do you reverse that? The only way to reverse is to create some pressure by blocking the flow of the water and that will force, the three-way solenoid will force uh, using the overpressure valve uh, whatever water excess water that came out 
will be gone through the back flush into the drip tray. So you'll see the water, you'll hear the water dripping into the drip tray and that's how you know that there is some backflow. So every time you have very high pressure, that is, if you have, for example, let's say you made a cup of espresso and you see drops of water or espresso coming out, that means there will be more water going through the backflow. So using that same method, using the back flush, you will be able to clean your shower screen, your group head and all the components inside all the way down to the drip tray. Now that's what we are going to achieve mainly to clear the shower screen so that we don't want any old coffee grinds to be stuck there. Now there are two easy methods to do the back flush. First method is look in your toolkit you'll see a blind disc this is used to do the flush cycle so you could use this and I'll show you the second method after this now uh, one thing to note I have many questions coming up in my channel some people do the clean cycle or flush cycle and they see water coming through the potter filter spout now when others do there won't be any drops coming out of the potter filter I'll tell you the reason why some versions of Bravel it comes with uh, this cleaning silicon disc with a hole in the middle you see the hole there some versions come with that hole and some don't but both of them are going to back flush properly all you see is there won't be water coming out in this one but there will be water coming out on the one which has hole. Now this one came with my Bravel Barista Express and if you notice there's no hole there. So depending on the region and the version of the machine they'll send you either of this. You could use either. So I'm going to use the one with hole today so that uh, in case uh, some someone has question that will be clarified. So back to the first method, take your potter filter and take your dual wall single basket, which is easier. You could use either, doesn't matter. Now I'm going to use the one with hole. So just drop it right in so that it sits properly. Now, as I mentioned, there could be few drops coming out here, but doesn't matter. It's going to have enough pressure for the backflow. So just plug it in. And before I run the empty shot, I'm going to show you my drip tray. Now, I just emptied my drip tray and it's clean. So I'll just discard those water, a few, few more drops there. Anyway, I cleaned it thoroughly so it's clean. So if I see any grinds, I would know that it's from the back flush. Now I want to show you where the water is coming out. So I'll take out the first two layers. So that we are able to see where the water comes through there. Now in order to run the cycle, all you do is press a single cup button that will generate enough pressure. I would suggest not more than 10 seconds. You don't need so much pressure for that anything about 10 seconds is just waste so 10 seconds is enough and then press it again to stop so that will force the back flow and you'll hear the noise of the water flowing through the back flush plumbing and then the water will be thrown there so let's begin my flash is on Like I said, you may see some drops coming out. That's normal. So now it's generating pressure. So the shot is done. Now you, you heard that sound and the water is flowing from the other side. Let's run it again. This time we will see where it's coming from. I'm guessing it's somewhere right there. I'm going to stop. 
stop the flow. Okay, now you saw it was somewhere there. Before I remove the tray and show you, I want to collect the water into the cup so that we can see whether it cleaned out anything. Remember this, this is a clean tray which I cleaned. Now have a look at this, I was expecting it to be a bit discolored and it is, it's pale brown color, I don't know if the camera can pick up and you see a lot of big coffee grinds underneath and this is basically what happens. So these grinds were stuck between those shower screen and the group head and the back flush will bring it out. Now I'm going to clean my drip tray again and run two or three more cycles and see whether it really cleaned out. So let me come back after cleaning this. Now this time I'm going to use the blind disc without a hole uh, so that you know the difference between those two. So let's remove this disc which has the hole and then use the one without a hole. Okay, let's plug it in. Now this time you shouldn't see any drops of water coming out through the spout. Instead, you'll see only the backflow which was somewhere here into the drip tray. So let's begin. There will be a lot of pressure generated this time. So not even, not even a drop of water came out, so I'm gonna stop. The water that came out through the spout there, that's the back flow. Now let me run one or two cycles and then we'll check the water again. came out again one more time that should be good now let's check the water Take the same cup. Now remember, I I did not do back flush for uh, many of the shots that I did, so I, I was expecting a lot of grinds anyway. Now one difference I see this time is the color of the water. It is clear now compared to the previous one, which was a bit brownish color. Now it's comparatively it is clear. Now you still see those big coffee grinds floating underneath there. So let's run a few more cycle and see. So a few more shots. You could also press the double cup, same result. Let's have a look at the water again. Now this looks really clear. Um, I see only very few one or two. Otherwise the water looks clean. It doesn't have any color or any shade to it. So that's how you clean the shower screen and the group head. 
by using the back flush method. I want to show you the second method quickly. Now, if in case you don't have the blind disc or you are not able to find it, don't worry. All you do is take the dual wall basket, single or double. You could use either. Stick it in and then do the same thing. Now, this dual wall will give you enough pressure uh, to push the water through the back flush. So let's do a cycle now with the dual wall. You'll see some drops of water coming out, that's fine. But again, you'll see the back flush there. I'm gonna stop and watch this. Okay, that brought enough water. That will also clean. This is an easier method in case you cannot find the blind disc. Now, I want to give shout out to Piano Cover. He mentioned in one of the comments in my channel about this so shout out to piano cover so there are many things like this unseen but it is important for you to do like i said do it every time after you make a cup of espresso run at least two shots of back flush if you don't have the blind disc use the pressurized basket that will still do the job just by doing this daily, it will keep the group head so clean, sparkling clean, and your shower screen. More than that, you're getting rid of those old coffee particles from the coffee. So next time when you make coffee, make sure that you do the back flush. Now again, if you look at commercial espresso machines, and if you go to a clean coffee shop, I should mention clean coffee shop because there are coffee shops which I've seen they don't clean it or maintain their machines properly. So when you go to those clean coffee shops, you will see the baristas, they will back flush every time they make a coffee, they back flush and clean everything before they make the next shot. So that's the same practice that you're adapting for home use as well. Uh, so do the back flush. There is nothing wrong in doing it daily. Some may worry that it may generate a lot of pressure and it may damage some of the components. No, there is overpressure valve which will push the water through the spout, through the back flush, if there is an excess pressure. So there is nothing wrong with it. It's not gonna damage your machine and it is safe to do this daily. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like this video, hit that like button and if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. I would really appreciate it. See you guys next time. Bye for now.